back hanging out with one of my favorite people, especially on Monday mornings, with Erin for Red Buffalo Coffee and Tea. Now this is so amazing because I get caffeine brought to me. It makes a perfect Monday morning. It is. Seriously, like there is nothing better. If you could hire somebody to do that for you, I'd highly recommend it. Now, Erin, um, today is a special day, not only because it's a uh, delicious Monday morning for me. Monday but, morning for you. Uh, technically, it's Earth Day, and this is kind of like our Earth Day it's, show. It's Earth Week sort of it thing. It is, yeah. Exactly. And so, um, now first of all, let's before we get into our, our earthiness, tell me a little bit about what you brought this morning. Well, today I brought for you our iced tea spritzer, because it may not kind of look springy, today or this whole week coming mm -hmm. up, but we like to think it is. So our iced tea spritzer is one of our favorite um, ice drinks that we offer. It's one of our seasonal yes. drinks. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. We brew all of our teas straight from a loose leaf. That includes our iced teas of the day. We always have three iced teas of the day. Yum. And our iced tea spritzer is a special mix of some stuff in there. So. I gotta tell you, this is, you know me so well. This is one of my favorites as well. And then what are, what are you drinking over there? I have a caramel latte today. Yum. I felt like, Yum. you know, and we use a Ghirardelli uh, caramel in our caramel latte, Ghirardelli chocolate. Mm -hmm. And so you kind of just get that nice creaminess that just goes oh, perfect. It's so good. It's so good. Now, now these cups that we're holding, um, these look yes. like your typical, like, plastic cups. I mean, the, you know, the straw, yeah. uh, the paper. No, the lids. Me, yeah, what's what's different about What's these different guys? is that these aren't made from plastic. Really? And um, a lot of times, too, with the paper cups, you can't, mm. they're, they're wax lined. In a lot of uh, other coffee shops, they get a wax lined paper cup. All of these are compostable because the lids, the straws, the cup are made from a starch base. Really? So they're a company called Eco Products, so down in Boulder. We have a goal at Red Buffalo where it's an 80 by 80. 80% 80 of our products come from companies within an 80 mile radius. Wow. The best part is Eco Products is from Boulder and they're compostable. So at Red Buffalo, it kind of fits into our theme, we're a zero waste coffee shop. That's amazing. So you come in, everything we hand you over the counter is going to all be compostable or recyclable. So you don't even have to think about it. What looks like a trash can is really compost, but you throw your stuff in there anyway, and it doesn't matter because it's actually compostable. Okay, now you guys kind of started this um, a little, probably over a year ago or a about a year bit, ago. Yeah. So tell me what the result has been for you. It's been great. We've decreased our waste by, I'd like to say, 95%. Whoa. We only have a little th thing that goes into the trash can, and that's usually from the bathroom because that's something you don't want to sort through. Right. Yes. <laughs> but call. everything else is composted or recycled, and it's really great. We get a lot of, um, you know, if tourists don't know about it, they learn about it, and then they get really excited. Yeah. Um, Some of our, our residents get really excited about it because Definitely. restaurants are a huge contributor to waste in the landfill. There's so many things, you know, the, the styrofoam clams that you take home, order goes in, the cups from the coffee shop, usually those all go into a landfill. And so at Red Buffalo, what we can do is make it so it doesn't go into the landfill and it gets reused and it makes it into compost. And then when we do start planting, mm -hmm. we use that Eventually. compost in our little patio garden out back, which you just saw. That's amazing. So it's oh, a full amazing. circle. So and it, uh, tell me a little bit, you guys have some great breakfast options yes. too, you know, like for instance, one of the scones Blueberry that we have scone. here on the table that you guys can see. Um, and you have some gl some gluten-free options and things like that. We do. We have some gluten-free breakfast burritos, regular breakfast burritos, uh, smoothies, and uh, hot oatmeal as well, yogurt parfaits. And then we also have gelato, which is great. I know it's springtime is kind of up and down with the, mm. the gelato ice cream kick, but right. we have that there, and we can also make milkshakes with it. So. Oh, so and gelato is gluten-free as well. so. So, so a lot of different options a lot for different, different allergies options. and things like that. Now, let's say, okay, for instance, somebody comes in and says, I would like a blueberry scone, Erin. Yes. So how do you serve it to them, and how do, I mean, how is this compostable? How are we Everything right here is compostable, because the fork there is starch, really? napkin, and paper products are all compostable, too. So all of this that I brought in today can be composted. That's and amazing. so all of it is not going to contribute any um, amount of waste to the landfill, which is great. And then also what we help out with the landfill bit is all of our coffee grounds. And coffee grounds are a great addition to landfills, or not landfills, composts, because they keep things really hot. You need your compost really hot. Oh. So if you'd like more information, we put up a link on our Facebook page for High Country Conservation Center. Okay. Um, they help us a lot with our composting. And they have a whole little link of what you can compost, why you should compost, what you can compost at home versus what you can compost in the county compost, which is a more commercial size, because these cups, unfortunately, won't compost at a home compost. Sure, it needs um, to be hotter. It needs to be hotter, there. but the county compost does get hot enough. You guys, see so. a little Earth Day lesson that's yes. also delicious at the same time. So uh, what are your hours right now? Right now, we're seven days a week, 6.30 to 5.30, so okay. you can catch us 
11 hours of the day. Even through month season. Yes. And where exactly are you guys located? With 358 Blue River Parkway in Silverthorne. So just a half mile off the I-70 Silverthorne interstate exit. So we're central to everything you need. All right, you guys, stop on in and check it out. Try the iced tea spritzer today. Oh man, this is so good. Which, which kind is this one? That is the iced tea spritzer made with the Darjeeling. You guys, that is amazing. Oh, Erin, you're the best. Thank you well, so thanks much. thanks for having me. And happy Earth Week out there. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with more Summit Sunrise, so don't go away.